Hello guys, this is the second video of our OBS mini tutorial for beginners. So in the first one we covered how to use scenes and sources and for the second one we're going to be looking into the settings of the application. So first and foremost let's load up the settings which you'll find on the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, you've got a variety of different sections. You've got general, stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, advanced. So we're going to start with general at the top. In essence, there isn't too much to mess around with on this. Like settings are important anyway. You can change the snapping if you want to. So when you have that ticked or unticked, it's basically when items that you attach to the screen snap into the corner or if uh, you want them to be more freely moved about it's personal preference but on this page there isn't really too much to be worried about second is stream this is obviously where you select your service provider that you're going to stream through twitch youtube mixer facebook live restream twitter periscope whatever that is um, then server auto and then you put your stream key in here and then click apply your stream key you will find either in your twitch settings or your mixed cloud settings output now this is an important one and I'll go a bit more into what some of these mean a little bit later on but for now um, you would like, I think it's on average, it's best to have between 2,000 and 4,000 kilobits per second. Okay. I think that's generally a good, varied sort of place to be sitting at. You don't really want to be over 4,000, it's not going to matter too much. Next up, audio bitrate. Now, some streaming platforms will only stream up to 160. You can go up to 320 if you want to. I would advise sitting at 160 to reduce any lag that you will get. Recording. This is obviously if you want to record your video, then you can change the scenes to either high quality, lossless quality, so on and so forth, what format you want, and so on. Okay? But mainly the key here is video bit rate at 4. Encoder, you can use either of the two that are on there. I think if you don't have a good graphics card, it might be worth going to software. If you have a decent graphics card, then you probably want to use the hardware. And like I said, 160 for your bit rate. Audio, sample rate you can leave at 44, channel stereo. Desktop audio. Now this is this section here is your sound settings. Okay, so if you've got speakers or headphones, you can select them in here. So we want speakers, headphones, and that's it. You may have a mixer or a controller that you'd be able to select and put into there, but generally something similar to that you want. Mic, we've got a microphone USB, so when we're talking. It will show up now whatever we edit on here will appear at the bottom of your screen down here and then you can change the volumes the levels or mute as applicable uh, the rest of this on there you can ignore video now this is a very important one depending on your system if you have not a very good system then i would advised to stream at 720 maybe less if you have a particularly bad laptop uh, 540 or something like that um, but you most average people sit at 720 you can go up to 1080 if your computer or laptop is good enough and you also want to make sure that this and this are matching okay make sure these have the same downscale filter um, I'd leave it by cubic and then common FPS values you want set to 30. 
thick apply. Okay, so this is 30 FPS. Um, the average eye can't see much over 40 FPS or 30, between 30 and 40 FPS. So you're not, it's not really going to affect anything. All it's going to do is make your system run things a little bit smoother. Hotkeys, if you want to add special keys to switching scenes or doing transitions, anything like that, stop recording, then you can set all your keys in here. Um, switching scenes, like I said, look, show live image, show logo, so on and so forth. Uh, this is for both Mixcloud and Twitch. So if you're interested in this, then all you do is click add and then select the key you want. Uh, I don't, as you can see, I've got no settings in this one. Advanced. So process priority, I'd leave it normal for now. Obviously you're doing a couple of things at the same time with mixing and streaming. So I would keep it at normal. Uh, video render, I'd leave it the same. Color format, I'd switch to NV12. Color space, 601. And then color range, partial. So that's NV12. 601 partial a recording you can ignore all this unless you're actually interested in recording stream delay you can ignore all the rest of it blah 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 and that is all of your settings so i'll quickly scan over them stream is obviously your stream key and everything output 4000 with an audio bit rate of 160 you can go as low as 2000 if you need to and you'll be right down to 128 if you think that's suitable. The recording is literally for recording when you're not streaming. Audio, once again, this is your audio settings. We'll have a little look at down here in a minute. Um, that's all done here. So if you're messing with your sound settings, add in a controller or want to mute your headphones from coming through to the speak to the stream, then that's something you will look at there. Video, make sure these are the same. That this is at 30 and by cubic suitable. Now, next we're going to have a quick look at these. So, as you can see down here, we have live image, which is this there, so we can mute that. Mic, which is muted. Desktop audio, so this is actually the speakers. I have some music on the background. You can see it's picking up the music. See? And if I don't want it, I'll just mute it. Desktop audio, this is what's playing through my speakers. However, I haven't got nothing playing through the speakers. It's not showing up. If I want to change anything, I'll click the little thing there. And then go properties. And then I can also change these settings from there as well. Now, next one, important one, is on the screen. Obviously, webcam. Bam. There we go. We have a webcam. All you do is right click, properties, and then this section will open up. Now, obviously, I've, I've fixed it so you can actually see the webcam. Device, you want to set to custom. Resolution, it depends on yourself. I mean, I like to stream at 1080, okay, because I think that's nice and clear. Um, you can drop it down to 720. Whatever you do, I would advise to keep these settings very similar to your video settings. So FPS 30, resolution, video format. Um, I think you can leave the video format from what I remember. Just double check. Uh, I know, oh, video format, we want as MJPEG. Color space 601, color range partial. Okay. And then click OK. Once again, we can unclick the little tick, the uh, padlock. Move around. And there we are. Now, one thing you can do is if you go to properties, now you need to do this before every stream, go to configure video, and then the little thing will pop up. You want to Untick white balance, move it up to about, I'd say about four, five hundred. I think that's nice, maybe a little bit less. Let's give it a bit more of a warm hue. And camera control, untick, focus, and then click apply. And there we go. 
and that is settings. Um, any questions? You know where to find me. <laughs>